Okay everyone, so today we're checking out the 2016 BMW 328i. Now this is the X-Drive model with the all-wheel drive system built in. And it's got some active aero goodies that comes along with the GT name, that being Gran Turismo. So let's take a look at this car and see what it's like. Now, the BMW 320i comes with 18-inch alloy wheels and run-flat tires in all fours. Now, for the engine of this car, you have a 2-liter inline 4-cylinder dual overhead cam motor, which features BMW's twin power turbo system. That being said, you have a combined output of 240 horsepower and 258 pound-foot of torque. Okay, so just getting in this car, you get the sensation of a lot of leather and plastic parts, like this whole dash right here, this mainly consists of cheap plastics, but everywhere else you get high quality leather. Now anyway, so this car follows suit with the, um, the new sequential like gear selector trend. I don't know if you're a fan of that, but eh, it's fine. Now, this car does keep its parking brake. Most cars these days, you usually see them with automatic buttons that you hit up and down. I prefer these kinds of hand brakes, but some may differ. And plus, it doesn't quite matter if you're in this kind of a car. This is not really a performance car. It's usually just, this car is more focused on the everyday driver and just driving around. Now, just driving this car, it, it seems very livable. It seems like the kind of car you can drive this every day. The steering feel is really light. The pedal feel is out of play to it, so you're not gonna just accidentally gun it. Right there, my foot to the floor took like a couple seconds before it even downshifted. Now, just driving this car again, down the streets, it's, it's very smooth, it's not too jumpy. Throttle is not too, you know, responsive. And then even the brake pedal too, it's it's firm, it's gradual, it's not that instant bite that you get out of some of these cars these days. But it's got that just easy to drive factor. Now again, so cruising around in this car, it definitely feels like you're in a BMW. It doesn't have specialists to it, but it's got the feeling that you're in a German car. This car, you have excellent visibility all around, you have excellent front end visibility of the sides. So how about the performance aspect of this car, huh? So putting the car in sport mode, sport plus turns off traction control. So let's see, it doesn't work in this car. The steering wheel feels extra heavy in sport plus mode. So doing that corner right there in sport plus mode, the wheel instantly changed to a much more heavy feeling on it, and it's much more di direct, but not like you know precise. It's just when you turn the car, you definitely are turning the car, and it doesn't have that all that play that you have in normal mode. So putting the car in comfort mode, it feels exactly the same as it would in eco mode. I think that's just because how the car is. Now, again, this car only has 240 horsepower. It's not 300 or 400. It's not some, you know, high and drastic number. But it definitely gets up and goes. I wouldn't complain to that extent. No. Okay, so now driving this car in traffic. It's easy going. It's smooth. It's quiet. You don't have any outside noise. Which, 
hey, that's a pretty good thing if you're buying this kind of car, because when you buy this kind of car, you're not paying for performance, you're paying for an everyday livable car, and that's exactly what this car delivers. Now, the interior of the car, like the nav system right here, it, it's, you know, it's, it's like every other nav system, it's kind of gimmicky, you know, but it does a job. I wouldn't be using this for maps, I wouldn't recommend anyone to you have your phone for that. Okay, so back to the city driving aspect of this car. It's a very easy car to drive on the street. And just the, the comfort level that it actually delivers to is quite astonish astonishing, if you ask me. It's perfect. It, it doesn't... Now, the everyday city driving aspect of this car, it delivers exceptionally well. It does everything you want it to, to do. You have plenty of space. You have plenty of leg room in the back of this car. So you can have five grown adults in this car if you resort to that. I don't know if you would. So yeah, now in sport mode, I'm going to use the actual manual paddle shifters now. See if that changes the car by any means. I'm shifting right now. So when you shift, it's about a second delay on what it actually does. It does rev out. You can hit the side button right here. And what that actually does is that, is that it turns on the active arrow so that you can raise a back spoiler up and down on this car. Huh? How cool is that, huh? So you can, you can have your own rear spoiler that goes up and down at certain speeds. And it actually provides the 35% more downforce on the back end over there. Now, the BMW 328i does feature the X-Drive all-wheel drive system, and basically what this system does is that it senses slip on each tire and the road conditions and makes corrections based off those conditions. And it's pretty advanced and it allows for the car to do pretty incredible things. Same thing with launching the car, which I'm going to show you right now. The car just gets up and goes. No slip. It just goes. In conclusion, I'd say the BMW 320i is an excellent car to buy. It gives you fun and sportiness along with comfort and livability. Now, if you're in the market for a sports wagon, I'd highly recommend checking this car out. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay tuned for the next one. And if you're not subscribed, please make sure to do so. I got plenty more content where that came from. Have a nice day.